Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening, my dear hello. teacher. How are you? Fine. Hello. Hello. Hi, I cannot hear you guys. I don't know why. Hi. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, good night. Hola. I think I have an issue okay. with my earphones. There you go. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm here. Now I can listen. I'm like, where are you? All right, I'm here. All right. Hi, Jose Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. No, sé, no estuvo en clase ayer, ¿verdad, Josecito? No, mucho tráfico había. Mucho tráfico, ¿a dónde? <ríe> en la sala, en la cocina. <ríe> oh, my goodness. All right, very good. Eric, how are you today? I'm fine, super good. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Very good, nice to see you. And Williams, how's everything? Oh, <ríe> it's, I had a heavy day. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. A lot of meeting because oh, really? of work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Francisco, how are you? Fine. Good. All right. Ready. To the Ready. Class. That's good. I like to hear that. And then Elmer. Uh -huh. I shouldn't ask Elmer how he is because he's always bullying me. <laughs> but I'll say hi. <laughs> hi, Elmer. Oh, Hi, my dear teacher. Oh, how are you? you? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. Because, da risa, because da risa. you always bully me. Para los, <laughs> los compañeros que son nuevos, para Eric, Francisco, Williams y los demás, Elmer yeah. siempre me hace bullying. Así okay. que me tienes Why? que entender. I don't know. <laughs> no, es mentira. Una, eh, una mentira grande. Elmer ha estado conmigo desde hace un año ya, ¿verdad, Elmer? Sí, desde que... Imagínense, y toda la vida me ha hecho bullying. Wow. No, no teacher, no. no. <laughs> Something is going on. I know, eh? I don't know what it is, but I don't know. <laughs> you have right. to figure it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out one day. Very good. All right. No, cuando me cambien de, de grupo para que no esté con el mercito, he's going to be very happy. Right, mm. Elmer? <laughs> no la cambian, teacher, no la cambian. Es amor perro ese de que no, no se separa nunca. <laughs> Hasta terminar. Oh my goodness, all right. Apoyo, yeah. pero ver en la preparación. De... Ok. All right, very good. Ok, uh -huh. guys, very good. Let's stop chit chat here. All right, so, hi Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello, nice to hi, see teacher. you. Dios mío, very good, you're back. Walter and Jose Ramos, Rocío, good evening, and Juan Arevalo, excellent. All right, guys, so. Good evening, teacher. Uh, we're going to begin today with section two. All right, we're not going to talk a little bit. I mean, we're not going to talk anymore about describing problems one and describing problems two because I think you already got it, okay? In case you have questions, please ask me. But right now, we're going to begin section two, okay? Now, I'm going to begin section two in a different way. I mean, not that I'm not going to use a PPT, but I'm going to first remind you what passive voice is about in order for us to work on the real topic of section two, all right? The first content that is on section two. Why? Because some of you have not been with me since like before. I mean, you guys know were not with me last class, I mean, last module or the previous one where we have studied the passive voice before. So what I want is for everybody to be on the same page, all right? So we're gonna talk a little bit about passive voice in general, and then you will discover why is she doing that, all right? Just because um, I want you to like really understand it so you're able to do and to follow us here on the content of the platform. It's the same thing, it's just I have divided it in somehow, okay? So passive voice, can someone tell me what passive voice is? Ajá, de, como a los solo tres niños veo, a, ellos, a uno de los tres le voy a decir. Todos los demás se ponen en, 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 en incógnitos. All right. All right. So, what is passive voice? Tell me what passive voice is. Nobody? Oh, my God. No, teacher. 
What happened? I have a poor <laughs> concept. Okay, but that's uh, okay. Tell me. Uh, the passive boy is who, who person or who receives the action. Who receives the action. Ah. Who receives the action. Ah. And active voice is who makes the action. Oh my goodness, Elizabeth. Very a little, good. a little. Okay. No, but it's okay. More than enough. Ya me hizo la noche. Fíjese, yo dije, Dios mío, lo hago desde hace un año. I saw... I saw any videos, I understand this. Very good. All right, excellent, Elizabeth. Congratulations, thumbs up for you. All right, very good. So yeah. passive voice, guys, is another way that we use in English very often. It's very commonly used, all right? Sometimes we use it while we're, while we're using, all right? So we just speak it, we use it, but we don't really know the name of it. And that's okay, all right? But we need to like learn grammar because it's also part of the whole acquisition pro progress of learning a language, all right? So it's very, very important, okay? So passive voice, just like Elizabeth said, it's another way to say the same thing as in active voice, but it's different because the passive voice is who does the action is not important. All right, the action itself is important. Okay, so that's pretty much what it is about. So I'm gonna share this with you. Oh no, hold on, I don't have it open. <gasps> Give me a second. I was just teaching another class before. So just give me a second here so I can find it. All right. All right. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, so here we have it. Passive voice, all right? So some people are really scared when they see or when they hear, oh, no, passive voice, but it's no big deal, all right? So if you actually learn the structure... Mira, ganas de, de apagarle mejor el fuego porque no voy a estar pendiente. Y después encenderlo, ¿no? All right. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, we have to, I mean, we don't have to worry about it because it's not so complicated if you actually follow me here, okay? okay. So we have here, passive voice. See, here are some, probably the ones that have, that have been with me, they recall this presentation before. I like it because it's simple, all right? So for example, and number one here that we have, we can see, can you see the presentation, yes? Yeah, you guys can see it, hello? All right. Yes. yes. No dogs allowed on the beach as passive voice. All right. Or when we say warning, English teacher, your grammar may be corrected by at any time. That can also be used passive voice. All right. Or I was shocked too on the cartoon with the daddy. It's also passive voice. English is spoken here. That is passive voice. All right. So we use passive voice a lot in English. And sometimes, as I said, we don't even realize that we're using it, all right? So we're gonna go on here, and it says, when do we use it, okay? We need to know when do we use it, all right? So when uh, we use it in English, agent is unknown. When I say agent, means the doer of the action, all right? The person that made the action, we don't know. We, don't, we have no idea who, who he was or who he is or who they were. We have no idea. So you said flats are sold. Do you understand flats? You know what flats are, guys? Mm. Do you know what flats are, no? That's Ooh. okay, you're gonna learn a new word today. Flat, if, when you go to London and when you go to England, all right, you're not gonna look for an apartment. You're going to look for a flat. So when you go to London or when you go to England, first think of me because I was your English teacher. And then remember that in England, you don't say apartments, you say flats, okay? So we can say apartments are sold or flats are sold. Who is the agent? I, have, mm -hmm. I don't know who sells them. I don't know who sold the, the, the apartments, all right? I have no idea who did that. All right, so when we don't know or when the agent is unknown, we use passive voice. On the second one, Anne was given a kiss. By whom? I don't know. 
Maybe it was Eric, maybe it was Williams, maybe it was Elmer, I don't know. All right, someone gave her a kiss, mm -hmm. yeah? And yes. was given a kiss, I don't know who. All right, number two, when do we use passive voice? Number two, when the agent or the doer is not important, all right? So the house can be visited between eight and 14, all right? By whom? By anybody, by you, by me, by us, I don't know, by someone, but it's not important. What is important is the information when the house can be visited, yes? Who's gonna go? I don't care, it's not important, okay? Another way or another reason why we use a passive voice is number three. When we want to give importance to the object of the active voice. Remember that in English we have active voice and passive voice, okay? The active is the one that we usually speak in. And passive voice is the most, I mean, we use it, but it's a little bit more rebuscada as we said in, in Spanish, okay? So the passive is used more in writing. Listen to this and pay attention to that. Passive voice is used more in writing and formal speech. When you're speaking in a very formal way, we use passive voice more than active voice. When we talk like everyday English, you talk to your friends, you talk to your girlfriend, you talk to your boyfriend, then you use active voice, such as public information, rules, signs, procedures. They usually use passive voice. I know I have said this to my students before, but I'm gonna say to my new students, have you noticed when you buy a shirt, a t-shirt, at the back of your shirt, there is a tag. And it said, for example, it says made in Japan or made in Vietnam or made in El Salvador, yeah? Yeah. Those little tags, they are, they are, be, they are, I mean, they have used passive voice, all right? Who made the shirt? A million people on a factory, all right? So I'm not going to say Rosita and Reina and Andrea and Silvia made the shirt, all right? So that's why in that case, the agent is not important, okay? Because there are many people that make a shirt. So it says made in El Salvador or made in Vietnam. So those little tags, they are, they are being used in passages. When I was little and I didn't speak English, I used to say made in China, <laughs> made in China, all right? Because I didn't know that it was said made in China, all right? But that's passive voice. So again, rules, signs, and brochures, they're also written in passive voice as well as media reports, okay? If you notice the example cycling, is not permitted in this area. Smoking is not allowed for the ones that smoke, okay? That's a sign, and that sign is written on passive voice. Bookings can be made online, all right, when you wanna make a reservation. So all these things are uh, expressed on passive voice, okay? How to form passive voice, and this is like what makes people crazy sometimes. How to uh, form passive voice, and this is the structure. Le look at the first sentence. Let's see, Eric, Abarca, can you read the first sentence? Someone. <clears throat> okay. Someone cleans the streets every day. Thank you. Someone cleans the streets every day. Or I can say Ramon cleans the streets every day. Or the Alcaldia cleans the streets every day. All right? They clean the street every day. That's active voice. All right? I'm saying who cleans it. Rodrigo cleans it. Or... Ivan cleans it or the uh, city hall cleans it, all right? The municipality cleans it, all right? That's active voice. But when I don't want to say who cleaned it, all right, because it's not important, because I don't know, all right? So what I do, if you notice, someone is the subject, is the doer of this action, is in black, and the street is in red, because that's active voice, all right? When you want to switch it to passive voice, you take the object or the one that received the action on the active voice and you put it at the very beginning. So you switch the places. What I'm telling you right now, it's on the platform of the teacher that is there talking, all right? It's exactly the same thing. On the platform is with number one, number two, all right? But this is exactly the same thing. So the streets become 
at the, like they go to the very beginning of the sentence. The streets are cleaned every day. By whom? I don't know. Or maybe I know, but I don't want to tell you. All right? Yes? Okay. So what happens here? The verb changes. Okay? Every time we work with passive voice, we use the verb be and the, plus, um, and the past participle. That's why when you learn English and the teacher gives you those long lists of verbs with present, past, and past participle, we need to learn them because we are always using them, all right? We, all, we don't only use the past participle of the verbs for, pe uh, for present and past perfect tenses, passive voice, all right? So this is the structure. The verb changes. We need the to be, all right, plus the past participle, okay? Mm -hmm. And now the same verbal tense of the active tense. If your sentence in active voice is in simple present, your sentence in passive voice needs to be on simple present. But we're going to use the to be simple present. And the verb is going to be in past participle. Look at the sentence that Eric read. Someone cleans the streets every day. Simple present, okay? Now, I'm gonna switch it to passive voice. I say the streets are, because it's plural, I'm talking about two streets, three streets, or the whole San Salvador city, are cleaned. Are is simple present of to be, of the verb be, all right? Plus the past participle of clean, becomes cleaned. ¿Qué me da a mí el tiempo verbal es el verbo be? All right, you understand that? Si mi primera oración dijera, someone cleaned yesterday the streets, all right? On my passive voice sentence, I would have to say, the streets were cleaned yesterday, yeah? This is para que mi, mi, mi oración en voz pasiva funcione, tengo que fijarme primero en el tiempo verbal de mi voz activa. Si mi voz activa está en presente, mi voz, mi voz pasiva va a estar en presente. If it's in past, on active voice, my passive voice has to be in past. ¿Qué me va a dar a mí el tiempo verbal? Es el verbo be. En presente, en pasado, en futuro, en lo que usted quiera, pero en el verbo be. Ahí está el detalle. El otro verbo que le sigue va a ser en pasado participio. Yeah, you understand, guys? Yes. Yeah, you guys are very that's because I'm talking, pero si tienen preguntas, please ask me. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? Yes. You have questions? Yes. No questions? No, no, no questions. I know that this is a review porque esto ya lo habíamos visto, pero igual, el review no cae mal nunca. All right? Very good. So, look at sentence number two. Williams, can you read Columbus? Yes. Okay. Columbus discovered... America in 1392. In 1492. 1492. 1492. 1492. Okay, right. That's okay, yeah. Williams. Okay, Williams, stop right there. Okay. Tell me, Columbus discovered America in 1492. Which tense? Simple present, simple past, future, past perfect. What is it on? It is simple present. Columbus discovered America in 1492? Oh, no, 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 it is past. It's it past. is simple past, okay? Yeah. Very good. Excellent, Williams. Now, Walter, your passive voice, which tense is it on? Waltercito? Hear me, teacher? Yes. Hello? The passive sentence, ahí hay una tele por ahí, no sé de quién es. Please put your microphone off. The passive sentence in, in which tense is it on right now, uh, Walter? Your passive sentence. America was discovered by Columbus in, in 1492. Is it present or past? Walter? Is, is past. Is past. ¿Cómo supo? ¿Qué le, dio el, ¿Qué le dio la idea que está en pasado? For the verb. Uh, which verb one? B, Excellent. Is, which is? is in past. Which is what? Was. Excellent, Walter. Was. Very good. Nice. Thank you, Walter. All right. Columbus discovered America in, in 1492. Simple past. So that means that I have to use my to be verb in simple past plus the participle of the following verb. 
America was discovered. Si se fija, ahí estoy también agregando quién, por quién fue descubierto. Pero si yo no supiera, yo digo, America was discovered. Y usted me dice, by whom? I don't know. All right? Yeah? You guys understand? If you want to say who, like, discovered America in this case, then you have to write the preposition by, by Columbus. All right? By, I don't know, by Elmer. All right, yeah, you have to write by whom, if you want to. No, it, it can be omitted if you don't know. All right, you understand? Yes, teacher. Excellent, guys, very good. Yes, okay, me, another, me afligen a, cuando están muy calladitos. Huh? Yes? Teacher, in another way, is only, it could be to say, America was discovered in... 2000 and 1492. 1492. Yeah, also, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in another way, you could also say that. Yes, very good. Now, here are more examples. We have elected a new president. Uh -huh. Which tense is that on, Francisco? The active sentence, we have elected a new president. This is present. I know what is is simple past. Present perfect. It's present perfect. Yes, thank you. We have elected a new president. Okay, so we have to say a new president has been elected. All right. Again, you tell me where's the verb be there in been has been. All right. So you have to follow, I mean, you have to play with the verb be in all the tenses possible in order to pass a voice, yes? They are playing the match on Saturday. Aha, Elmer, what tense is that on? Elmercito? No, all right. Magdiel, which sentence, I mean, that sentence, they are playing the match on Saturday. Which tense is it on? Simple present, future. What is it on? No? Oh my goodness, Daniel. Present, ¿quién está ahí? ¿Quién está present ahí? continuous. Thank you, present, present continuous. All right, they are playing the match on Saturday. So now we have to, say, uh, we have to switch it to passive voice. The match is being played on Saturday. All right? Very good. Okay, Lisette Padilla, can you read? If the object... The object is a pronoun, make sure to change, change it to subject pronoun. Me, I, him, he, her, she, them, they, us, we. All right. So we have to say the match is being played on Saturday by they, or we say by them. Guys? By them. by them. By them, right? Or the book was written by I, or I say the book was written by me. By me. Me. By me. Excellent. All right. No se les ocurre decir by I. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I bought him a present. He was bought a present. All right. So we have to like, sometimes they sound a little complicated, but they're not that complicated. All right. So here, guys. Again, para los niños que estuvieron conmigo, esto ya lo han visto, all right? But again, it's a review. Aquí están las possible tenses. Present simple, I make a cake, a cake is made. Present continuous, I'm making a cake, a cake is being made. Past simple, I make a cake, a cake was made. Past continuous, I was making a cake, a cake was being made and so on to present perfect, past perfect, future simple, future with be going to, and we also have the modal verbs, okay? And modal perfect. So here, guys, this is like a summary Teacher. of passive voices. Yes, tell me. Teacher. Yes? Uh, can you share in with us this box? Please. I can send them. I'm going to send the whole presentation to you, Elizabeth, when once we finish the class. Okay? I promise. Ayer la mandé. All right. No me va a estar reclamando Elmer después. All right. Very good. Hoy se está portando bien. Dice, of no course. Sé qué le pasa. <laughs> I always behave. I'm sorry. Right. Algo ha visto. 
<laughs> no, nothing. All right. La presenté, obviamente, a lot more extensive. We're not going to go over it right now because it's a lot of it. What I wanted you to do is I wanted you to like remember what passive voice is, what it looks like, when do we use it, and how we make it. Okay, do you have questions, guys? No questions? No questions. No. All right, okay, so I'm gonna go back to this. Hágame un favor. Can you take a picture of this one right now? Vamos a hacer un ejercicio antes de empezar la, la, ya la sección 2. Este era un pre, o sea, un pre de la sección 2 porque igual se ve. All right. Y si necesitaba que lo viéramos. All right. Take a picture of this one, guys, right now, please. Finished? Yes. Okay. I'm going to send you to your groups right now. And what I want you to do, just to practice, para ver si es cierto que hay good. Como nadie dice nada, entonces yo digo que esto está súper fácil. All right? So, what I want you to do is, I want you to make a sentence, one sentence per tense. We're going to do present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, all the way to future with be going to. Hasta ahí. El otro del model, we're not going to do that right now. All right? A simple sentence like this. Solo que, ojo, I don't want the same sentence for every single tense. All right, no como en este ejemplo que todo está, I make a cake, I made a cake, I was making a cake, I had made a cake. No, cámbiala. All right, solo que haga activa, pasiva. Yeah, you understand? Yes. Yeah, Present right. simple, ¿y cuál otra dijo? No, todas estas que están aquí, mi, mi querida. Ah, Albert. tan bella. Ah, yo sé. Of course, that's why you love me, Albert. All right, so all these tenses here. With one example in active and the same, the same sentence that is in active in passive. But for present continuous, change it to a different sentence. For active and the same thing for, pa for passive. You understand? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Tiene que mañana no me van a ver. Así que alegrese que hasta solo tiene media hora más conmigo ahora. All right. Very good. Let's see. Va a haber un grupo de tres, me parece. Ok. Yep. Very good. Magdiel, I need you to go to your group right now. Magdiel. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, can you go to your group right now, honey, please? Hi, Diego. Hi, Diego. Hi, teacher. My internet is not working. I don't know what happened. Oh, no. All right. Do you want me to send you to a group again to try? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, of course. Yes, right now. All right. I already sent you to one group right now.
Okay. You may go right now if you want to, yeah. Did you receive the invitation, Diego?
Hi, Flor. Hi, William. Hi. You uh, finished? The microphone floor doesn't work. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we making. You're chat. making the sentence. Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah, we okay. are making and send us with chat, and I am speaking. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Williams. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Wh which uh, sentence are you working on right now? Uh, for example, present continue. I am reading a book. Mm -hmm. Okay, a book is being real. Being read. Yeah, very good. Being mm -hmm. real. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Nice. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you too. Okay. El bye, pues, pero... uh, okay, sí, déjenme, ya lo pusimos mucho, bye. Sí. Okay. Ajá, ajá, pero Josecito, o sea, anda de rebelde, dice, no se deje ni Ana, qué bueno. No, sí, no sé dice. Como a él le toca escribir, por eso ah, no quiere. Ah, ya, ya entendí. Sí. All right. Ya me echaron al agua esta muchacha. I wash my car, my car is washed by me. She walked one mile. One mile was walked by her. I'm cooking. Mm, a, a cake cannot be cooked. A I'm cake. cooking a chicken. Yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that a cake, you bake it. Oh, yeah. A chicken I'm cake. A chicken. <laughs> a chicken cake. All right. The cake was, I mean, a chicken. Yeah, the chicken. A chicken. The chicken was. <laughs> ah. okay. Wait, wait, wait. The Vamos chicken bien, was. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Look at, the, at that one. The chicken was. Cooking. No cooking. Was. Ah, sí, tiene que ser en presente. ¿verdad? En pasado participio. El cook. Ajá, ah, uh -huh. cook. Mm -hmm. No, pero le quedaría en presente continuo. Sí, pero acuérdese que el, el verbo en sí, no, el, el verbo siempre pasa al pasado participio, Lizeth. Ah, entonces el que cambió cook. es el was. Ajá, ajá. Okay. Con id. Yeah, Con yeah. Uh -huh. porque es el pasado participio el que uso. Teacher, pero y en ese caso, o sea, porque en la presente continuo en la primera, dice I am. Está en presente, 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 presente continuo. progresivo. Ajá, presente continuo, ajá. Ajá, y en la otra le pusimos was. I was, the chicken was being cooked. ¿Por qué si estaba en presente continuo? Ajá, pero ¿por qué lo pasaron a was? Ajá, no teníamos que haber usado was. Porque estamos no, usando no, ajá, allá. presente continuo, that's right, yeah. Present was continuo. Being. Pero es el pasado sí. continuo, José. Presente continuo. Ajá, pero entonces que no tenía que ser was cooking. Is, no, is, no is being was. cooked. Ajá. Ahí no, sí se confundió. Pero, vale, I am está... cooking a chicken. Es presente continuo. Ajá. Sí. Ajá. All right. Entonces si yo lo paso a la, a la voz pasiva, the chicken is being cooked mm -hmm. by me. Ajá, sí El es. is. Ya me perdí. Es que, es que estábamos viendo mal el ejemplo. O sea, el ejemplo fue el que vimos mal. Por eso lo pasamos mal el ha to pasado. be. Ajá, ¿Y por qué? El, no tendría que haber sido en pasado. Tendría que haber sido en presente siempre, pues, porque solo uh -huh. estamos pasando a la voz pasiva, no estamos cambiando el verbo. Exacto. Solo que Entonces, no es been, sino que been. Ajá, Lizeth. Ah, ok. Ajá, sí. es que por eso iba a preguntar que por qué been. ¿Por qué José se equivocó? <risa> Por eso. Es que no me dictaron bien, no me dictaron bien. No pasamos bien la comida. No nos equivocamos, no nos equivocamos. Entonces solo es, the chicken is cooked by me. No, es being no. cooked. The chicken being. Bean, B-E-I-N-G. B no, no con, ah. póngale, Josecito Bello, póngale primero. ¿Cómo? No. Elis sí tiene que ir. Elis. Ajá. Ajá, pero ahí sería dos verbos be. Lo que pasa es que me da el tiempo del presente continuo. Mire la tabla, José, va, suba la tabla, baje la tabla, no sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. 
Arriba, present continuous. I, present continuous. I am making a cake. A cake is being made. Lizette, como acuérdese que en la voz pasiva yo juego con el verbo, el verbo be, ¿cierto? Ajá, entonces como está en continuo tiene que ir todo verbo be. Sí, <ríe> ajá, eh, vea, ajá. Ya. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces <ríe> el be es el que va a ser el continuo. Exacto, es el que le da el tiempo. Y tiene que ir el is, porque acuérdese que cuando es continuo necesito el is de todas maneras, el verbo be no puede faltar. ¿Verdad? Usted dice, I am watching, he is sleeping. No dice, he is sleeping. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. The next, the next, good. She was, ah, no la vi, pero me ahorita la veo. She has watered the garden. The garden has been watered. Yes. Okay. Ya ve, ya pueden, ya pueden. Ya podemos. <laughs> Podemos seguir trabajando porque nos falta. Oh, cool. oh. <laughs> My dear teacher, Hi. how are you? Fine. I, I, am, I am waiting for you, teacher. Oh, really? Why? Yes, uh, I need to help. You need help? Yes, uh, that's, that is the question with uh, 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 take an example. It, it, this. Okay. All right, Or let's this. see. Okay, let me see it. Present simple, I buy a car, a car is bought. Present continuous, I am making the homework. The homework, mm, you have a mistake on that one. The present continuous, is, is what, Jose? It's being made. It's being made, yes. Yes. No, being, no being. Bueno, ING. Pues, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tranquil. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Mire que hoy se ha quedado mal el mer porque no ha no ha visto la plataforma. Yo sé cuando usted la ha visto. Sí, my dear teacher ha estado mero complicado. Créanme yeah, que well ahorita no iba, no iba a entrar a clases, pero dije quiero ver a mi teacher. Dije yo. Ay, ajá, ajá. All right, someone stole my car. My car was stolen. I was working tonight. I was working tonight, okay. The work was being, hmm, okay. She has fixed the TV. The TV has been fixed. Uh, he had made the report. The report had been made. I will clean the house. The house will be cleaned. I'm going to make the question. The question is going to be made. Very good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Wow, Jose. I, I, you guys are good. I, I love you so much. Yeah, whatever. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's terrible, Jose. Me voy mejor. I Uy. see. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. He's like that. Jose. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. William San Florcita. Okay. Hi. Hi. Sigue Flor con. Ok. Yeah. Flor es la que tiene problema con el audio, ¿verdad? This is the yeah. problem. Ok. Did you finish? Yeah. All right. Ok. Very good. Ok. Just give me one minute and I'm going to check another group and then we're going to go back to the main session. Ok. Ok. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you too. Um, proposes. Hi, hi, teacher. How are you doing? Did you finish already? Um, uh, almost. No. Almost. Okay. Not yet. We're almost. Okay. That's okay. Uh, uh, okay. So hmm. that's perfect. Um. I have eaten to process and it should be the active voice and then the passive voice. Um, Pupusas has been eaten, I think. Mm -hmm. By me. <laughs> uh huh. Very good. Yeah. 
couple of revueltas. No, cheese. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple of more okay. minutes and then we're gonna go back, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we're we're almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. My dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. La vuelvo a ver, la vuelvo a ver. Mm -hmm. Faltan ocho minutos, ya que no recordó de que solo era media hora, ya solo faltan. <laughs> I know you're counting the seconds. Um, yes, I, I, I like count the seconds. Ah, to finish or, the class. No. Uh, in, in the day, teacher, for uh, uh -huh. see you in the night. Right, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, don't mind Elmer, he's like that, so don't just pay attention to him. All right, okay, so um, why did I do this exercise? As I said before, it's a review, but also because on the platform, I'm going to take you to the platform right now before we go. I know Jose is going to tell me only seven minutes, teacher. I know Jose Rodriguez. All right. But it's okay, I'm gonna show you the platform so you understand why I wanted to teach passive voice right now. Because on Monday, we're gonna like start with the section two from this part, all right? So here we have, here, can you see this? This is on the platform for, for section two. When you watch the video, I noticed, I was checking it today, and I noticed that nobody has written anything on the um, discussion box. But once you do it, once you watch the platform, I want you to type on your responses so you practice. Now, if you notice here, it says passive with preposition. We're talking about passive voice, okay? That's why I wanted you to review passive voice before. And if you notice, let's see. Um, uh, let me see here. Who else here? Um, Diego. Galicia, can you read passive with prepositions, the green title, present? Uh, okay, present continuous passive. Present continuous uh, passive, hold on Diego. So that's why I wanted to review the passive voice in every tense today, because this is what we're using on the platform, okay? No es que no era saber por qué la teacher, no es por algo, es una razón, es un propósito por el que, all right? Mm. 
All right, so Diego, continue, please. The air. The air is being pol polluted. Polluted, polluted, uh-huh. Polluted by, by fumes from cars and trucks. By fumes from cars and trucks, okay? The air is being polluted, that's present from continuous passive voice. And then we continue using a preposition for the rest of the sentence by fumes from cars and trucks, okay? Or we can just leave it, the air is being polluted. By whom? I don't know. Maybe by people, maybe by factories, maybe by the cars, maybe by the buses. It may be omitted, all right? If we, didn't, if we really didn't know who, by whom, all right? Number two, the other sentence. Uh, Jose Ramos, can you read city streets? Okay, teacher. City streets are being damaged as a result of the heavy traffic. Excellent. Thank you, Jose. City streets are being damaged. Again, present continuous. Now, this in this sentence, we're not using by anymore. We're using another preposition as a result of heavy traffic. Okay. But again, the beginning of your sentence is using present continuous passive. Okay. Anna, can you read present perfect passive for me, please? Okay. The roads, roadways have been jammed. Jammed, jammed. Jammed because of people's depends or care. Dependence cars. on cars. Very good. Thank you, Anna. So we say, mm -hmm. yes, so we have present perfect passive, okay? Igual, lo que estaba en el chart que ya vimos y como ya nos refrescó la memoria de cómo se hacía, ya esto nos hace como, ¿y qué es esto? All right, so that's the idea behind it. So the roadways have been jammed because of people dependence on cars. Because of is another, all right, that we can use on passive voice. Not only by, by we use it when we want to say who did the action, all right? But in this case, we have as a result of, because of, through, due to, all right? Eric, can you read many parks, please? Okay. Many parks have been lost mm -hmm. through overbuilding. Through overbuilding, very good. So many parks have been lost. The first part of my sentence is being used on present perfect passive, thank you. And let's see who else, um, who wants to read the last sentence? Daniel Mendez, sure. you've been very quiet. I'm sorry, can you read that one, Daniel? Daniel the oh, last yeah. one. Yes, please, the, the, the homeless. The, the homeless. Mm -hmm. um, the homeless, the homeless have, have been displaced. Displaced? Do, do, do to. Over due to overcrowding in city shelters. Yes, due to overcrowding in city shelters, all right? So what I wanted you guys to, uh, to realize is the usage of passive voice in these sentences, okay? That if you, when you watch this video, uh, the, the, the teacher is gonna walk you through the, the examples of present continuous, present perfect passive, but it's also gonna remind you what passive voice is, exactly what I did today, all right? Nothing is, it's not another topic, it's the same topic. I just wanted to review first for you to be ready on Monday to understand it better. Monday, we're gonna continue with, of course, section two with this topic right here, and we're going to be using the prepositions by, as a result of, because of, through, do to and i'm gonna give you the meaning you already know but anyway i will explain it a little bit so you know how to express things okay so guys this is the end of the class thank you so much for being with me the whole week for the ones that were with me the four days super nice thank you so much for sharing and spending time with me we finished section one all right we have we have already begun section two we have already finished week one we have only three more weeks, time flies, all right? If you notice, these four days went by really quickly, okay? So I do want you to work on your platform. Don't fall behind. 
If there is anything on the platform that you need help with, you can always contact me on the WhatsApp group and I can like help you out. All right. All right. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you Monday. Tomorrow we don't have a class. It's a long weekend for us all the time. We have like we rest Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, but you need to work on your platform. OK. okay. Thank, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Bye, guys. Have a great Bye. night. Bye. Behave. Bye. Take Bye. care. And you know, if you don't have to go out, please don't go out. They stay home. All right. Okay, okay teacher. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.